Check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez with the morning's news headlines. I'm sorry, I had to use the platform for a moment of self. <laughs> you know, I did it earlier during our with morning news. I gave a shout out to Johnny Depp. Oh, the Johnny Depp. He's up in Santa Fe. <gasps> That's a good one. That's Hi, Mr. One. Depp. He actually I, might be watching. He yeah, might be watching. No. We okay. love your work. Probably not. All right, <laughs> let's get to the news because there's a lot to talk about this morning. Hope you're having a good one so far. Happening this morning, there is a warning for all women to be extremely careful in Albuquerque's Bosque. A woman says that she was raped and robbed there over the weekend. Albuquerque police are now on the hunt for the guy she says did this. Now, police tell us the woman who is in her 40s claims she was on the uh, levee trail a few hours before the sun went down on Sunday. She then walked out to the edge of the river to meet someone, and that's when she says a guy with a knife robbed and raped her. Police say they haven't heard of any other attacks like this, but it has a lot of women right now on edge. It makes me want to carry something to protect myself, you know. I think that's a lot of people's first thought is either mace or, you know, if you have your concealed carrier's license. Now, police say the woman who was attacked had mace and a cell phone, but apparently the suspect took off with all of that. The woman says that the man was a Hispanic, young-looking man in his late teens, perhaps, with a mustache. She says that he was riding a white bike. The jury will now be back in the courtroom right away this morning in the trial of a former Albuquerque police officer accused of murdering his wife. Instead, there will be a hearing for an emergency motion from the defense. You see, yesterday... Levi Chavez's attorney filed that motion. Chavez is accused of killing his wife, Tara, allegedly because she was about to turn him in for alleged insurance fraud for saying that his truck got stolen when it really wasn't. Now, the motion from Levi's attorney says the lawyer who represented Tara's family in a wrongful death civil lawsuit may be holding back evidence that would hurt the prosecution and help the defense. My problem is that the state is relying on information that has been filtered through the civil attorney. That civil attorney says that is just That's not true. Now. There is another new issue here. Yesterday, both the defense and prosecution learned that a state insurance fraud agent did not turn over notes and evidence from his investigation into Levi's truck getting stolen, a key point for prosecutors. The defense says that could get the charges dismissed. Of course, we are going to be in court today and we'll let you know what happens. The man accusing sh accused of shooting up an uh, Olive Garden parking lot in Albuquerque earlier this month could make his first appearance in court today. U.S. Marshals got a tip and arrested William Michael Clark in Santa Fe last night. Albuquerque police say Clark shot three people in the leg outside of this Olive Garden on San Mateo and Academy after a drug deal went bad. Lastly, a bear cub in northern New Mexico is now safe after the Thompson Ridge fire forced it from its home in the Valles Caldera. We got this picture right here of the cute little cub from the Thompson Ridge Fire Facebook page. Now, it says that firefighters kept seeing this little bear on a dirt road on Saturday. It was still there yesterday, and apparently mom never came back to get this little guy. So they called game and fish and they took the cub to a wildlife rehab facility. It'll stay there until it's old enough to feed itself. Unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of wildlife coming closer to our communities because of the fire, the drought, a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. So hope all is well with those little critters. That wraps it up for your Tuesday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Mike, Kristen and myself, uh, Matt, Kristen and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13 beginning at 430. All right, ladies, going to send it back to you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you. We know you want to go get a hot dog, so go to it. Yes, I'm craving hot dogs this morning. <laughs> I know, now I'm craving. We've been talking about it so right? much this morning. I heard I you guys. It was 50 cent hot dog night at the Isotopes game. Okay. Ooh. Kudos to them. They won last night. Yes.